iced oatmeal cookie. It was really good. Another one that I really like is the blueberry muffin one. That was my favorite. It's so hard to find for some reason. Mm. I feel like I haven't been like going to the gym all that much. Like I have, but not as often as I would like. Most because my gym is very expensive. <laughs> so I like to go as often as I can. So I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Like two weeks ago, I had some girlfriends over. It was so, so much fun. It was like the most people I've ever hosted for the longest period of time, which is very out of my comfort zone for me. I'm pretty proud of myself because I'm, I'm very introverted. I'm like being introverted is not my choice. I'm just an introverted person. So even when I'm like spending time with people I really, really love, I find myself like getting pretty tired versus like an extrovert that will gain energy from like being around people and being social mm. One of my dear friends, Crystal, it was her birthday recently. So I had like three to four girls stay over for the week. And it was so, so much fun. If you wanna see more clips of like the trip and stuff, my friend Ali actually posted a video where she included a lot of footage from the trip. So I will link her video down below if you wanna check it out. And it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. I hope I was a good host <laughs> for everyone. But also very excited to get back into routine because like I said, I like my alone time. I like having a really structured routine. I kind of thrive maybe a little too much off of structure. <laughs> Something that I noticed that I'm very proud of myself about a few years ago taking a week off from the gym Would have sent me into like a full panic attack I would have had to like make up for lost time back when I had a really bad relationship with like working out with my body with food But now I'm chilling and that's on growth, baby I also haven't gone to the gym in the past few days because I got some new tattoos They were like impulse tattoos, but the day that I was getting them was pretty impulsive I've just been thinking about them for the past few months and I was like today's the day They're still very tender and new but this is the first tattoo I got this tattoo. It's a dad with a dragonfly and the reason I got it is because I love a dagger design I think it represents like strength resilience to not only like persevere but to prevail past all your hardships which is also what my back tattoo says it says prevail so I thought that like kind of went in with the theme and I just really like how dagger the look and the reason I got a dragonfly on it is because I used to go to this medium a lot maybe I'll make an appointment with them soon because it's been a while since I've seen them I, I think I've talked about like my medium experiences before I don't know if I have but and I know that there are scams and fake sets there but this medium i felt very connected with both of my parents when i was speaking to them something that they said was that my dad appears as dragonflies and whether that's true or not i decide to believe it and it brings me a lot of comfort i always think about him whenever i see dragonflies now my dad just in general also represents a lot of like strength and resilience and stuff so uh this tattoo is very special to me and then this one which i just applied like new second skin to which i didn't do that great of a job but whatever this is an awkward position but this symbol is from castle in the sky which is my favorite favorite studio ghibli movie that's the other tattoo that i got so i was laying them heel for the past few days. I have a total of, uh, how many tattoos do I have now? One, two, three, four, 13 tattoos. Also so sorry to my dad because he was always like, never get a tattoo. If you get a tattoo of me, that represents me after I die, I swear to God. Well now I have like, three that represent him, so sorry about it. Whenever he would say that to me, I always knew I was gonna get a tattoo anyway because I love tattoos. And it's it, the rumors are true. Once you get one, you just wanna keep getting them. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, 
my god, it's still so bright out. I love it. It's like 6.30 right now. I'm still not used to it being this bright outside this late. I'm just so happy. I think this is the first time where I'm really noticing how much this helps. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm really noticing how much this helps my mental health and like keeps me happy. Mm. Sometimes leftover pasta tastes better than like the day it was made. This is my favorite ice cream. I just finished up with the meeting. It went really well. It went a lot longer than I thought it would. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna be testing it out. And then if I really like this product, I will share it with you guys. Oh my God, it's already like nine. Go to the gym now and then maybe, maybe I'll stop by the grocery store afterwards. I just feel like I'm always out of groceries. There's always groceries to get. There's always laundry to do. Like that's what adulthood is, guys. There's always something that you need to buy, something you need to spend money on. There's always laundry to do. There's always groceries to get. There's always something to clean. It's just this constant list of things. And I feel like lately I just haven't been able to fully relax without feeling guilty because there's something to do. Like this is what I was chasing when I was a kid. Cause when I was a kid, I wanted to grow up so bad. That's crazy, that's crazy. If there is something that I could tell my young younger self is to just like stop. You do not, anytime my younger self said like, I can't wait to grow up, shut up, shut up. Don't say that. I never want to hear you say that again. <laughs> I made some chia seed pudding last night. I always used to think I would hate the texture of chia seed pudding. Like it just does not look appealing to me. But then I tried it and I was like, oh wait, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna add the whole apple. I should have used a bigger bowl. And I'm also gonna add some granola.
gonna have one of these blueberry muffin little mini like cliff bars for my pre-workout. Finally getting around to getting ready to go to the gym. It's already 10 a.m. I was editing for TikTok and Instagram. I post pretty frequently over there, so go follow me over there if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. I was doing that, and then I was on the phone with my realtor because I mentioned this in my last video, but I've been house hunting recently, which is so crazy. So crazy to say. I'm like, that feels wild. Also, looking for houses and looking at houses and putting in like offers and all that stuff, it is so competitive. I saw this statistic recently, actually, where the reason why home prices are going up like so quickly and a lot of the not cheaper because all homes are expensive any less expensive homes the reason why they get sold so quickly and then they like resell later for so much more money i forgot what the statistic was but it was some crazy number the amount of homes are actually just like bought out by companies not real people learning more about that stuff has been a journey but yeah house it's not that i never imagined having a house but buying a house and like the idea of living in a house is so foreign to me because i haven't really lived in a house since i graduated high school and I sold my the house I grew up in back in 2020, 2021. So yeah, haven't had a house, haven't lived in a house for such a long time. I feel like I haven't even been in a house in such a long time. So house on, oh my God, Anya. Do you hear her claws like scream? What happened? Floofy tail, poofy tail, what happened? I'm very excited to take you guys on this on this journey with me. I talked about this in my previous video, but making these like big decisions, I, I never thought I, first of all, I never even imagined, little trigger warning, but I never even imagined being around here this long. The fact that I'm the age that I am, never thought I'd be here. So the fact that that's happening is already wild. So I never imagined like having a house, but doing this kind of thing, like without my, my parents involved feels like like I shouldn't be allowed to do it. So it's this exciting thing that is also tied to so much guilt. And it's just a very weird feeling. Some of you guys commented on my last video and said that my words were resonating with you. That really means a lot to me. And I'm so sorry for like the losses that a lot of you guys have also experienced. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm sorry that you can relate, but I'm also happy that we can hopefully like heal and grow together and also just relate to each other. It's very comforting. So I don't know if anyone else feels this way too. Doing anything that should be exciting is also tied to so much like sadness and even guilt and shame sometimes because the people that you love or imagine doing these things with are not here. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I've been feeling that way a lot lately because the past few months, so much has happened. But yeah, before I get into a whole tangent again, I am gonna go to the gym. That was so good. It was so hot outside when I was taking my walk earlier. I was I was like sweating a little bit. It was it was pretty cold this morning, so I dressed accordingly. And then halfway through my walk, I was like, wait, I'm kind of sweating. <laughs> Come here, yo. Ooh. I'm gonna kind of make like a tuna melt using this plant-based tuna. And then I'm gonna try some of these pepper jack cheese wedges that I got at Sprouts. I used to be obsessed with the Laughing Cow cheese wedges. I'm kind of recreating something that I used to make a lot, like a few years ago, back when I was living still in New York, actually. And then I'm gonna put it in the air fryer under broil for like a few minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
を止めるためというより誘導するためつなぐためのブロックを着ている全て有機的にトータルディフェンスかけー<音声>ずっと先にいるみんなにわし城先生としてはそうよーどうだよ強化がつけすいませんわし城先生の気持ちですよ私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い私は本当に痛い I feel like my allergies have been this bad in a really long time. I don't know. I don't usually get sick. But I feel like whenever I start to feel under the weather, it's like a, it's like a train hit me. It's not often, but when it happens, comes in swinging. I had this spare COVID test that I took, and I'm clear. I just want to breathe. <laughs> I just want to breathe normally. I still feel a little under the weather. I rotted in bed for a little bit. Now I'm gonna do something really light, probably. I'm just gonna work out here, do a little at home walk thing, you know?
think the allergies have turned into like feeling sick. <laughs> like this morning, I felt pretty okay. I just had a pretty bad stuffy nose, but now I feel pretty sick. After I did my little like at home workout, I felt pretty good. And it's like I rode that high for a few hours and then it was just like, and I just, I've been rotting like all day. I feel like pho is just perfect for feeling like that, you know? I think I'm just gonna take the next few days off to just rot because I think I need it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. All this stuff really helps me out, so I really appreciate it. Sorry for getting sick at the end. I wanted this to be like a full what I eat in a week video where I have the, se the full seven days, but I was getting so sick towards the end that I just didn't find any other footage worthy after this. So I did get a comment recently talking about how they wanted less vlog footage and just preferred like what I eat in a week videos where it's just the food. So I would love your opinion on that if you agree with that or if you like the other, like the little bit of fluff in between with the vlog footage. But yeah, I hope today has been kind to you. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!